Okay, Chris, here is my solution. So right now the page is loaded and we're seeing just the, um, the membership uh, login section right here. So we will come in and let's reload the page. And what you're going to see is I have a red shadow around the box and I have a dark background. So depending on what you have, you may or may not see that box sitting on your screen. And then it loads everything up. And of course, it's running a little slow, of course, because I'm recording like usual. But there, that way you do not see the register section of the form. You only see the login section of the form. And so let's go in here and let's take a look at the tracking code for this. And here it is right here. The only thing I would leave this as 100 milliseconds. That's uh, more than enough time. So what this says here is most of the time you run scripts like here where that um, that is actually short for um, document ready. And so that means when the page just starts to load to put everything in, on window load, what it does is it waits until after all the images and everything else have been added. So basically, this loads like right at the end of the whole loading process. Um, that's what the window load function is. And then it just sets this timeout for 100 milliseconds. And we just set that timeout to a function and then we run the function. You could do this a different way, but I just think it's cleaner this way to do it. And then we just have L member access, which is that element itself. And we say show. And um, so the element right here is, uh, let's find it over here in the code right here, L, L member access. It has the ID of TMP blah, 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 55585. So let's just go in there. What I did is I hid that element. So here's that element. So let's go in and look at it. And I can show it there. Oh, come on. Elements, manage the element. Let's just show it here. Okay, so there's the element back. And we'll open it up. Come on, computer. There we go. Click on the hashtag. And so here's that hashtag. You could use this or you could just use the class because it'll be the only one of the class of L member access on this page. So I just made it generic and used the class on it. So make sure you just go in and hide that little baby and save the page and preview it. And let me, well, let's let that load up first. And again, it's taking a sweet time. I need to reboot too. There you go. So you didn't see it twice. And the only thing I was saying here, whenever you're using any kind of code, if you, especially if you copy the code exactly and you know it should work, always check out your little, your little quote marks here. Because for me, I put it into a text document. And although in this text document, it should have been a uh, just pure text. And it still jacks up the, uh, the little quote marks and makes them into curly quotes instead of straight quotes. And uh, curly quotes do not work inside of JavaScript. So that is it. Let me copy this out. I will drop it below this video. And uh, away you go.